celebrity culture. It might be about a talking horse, but few shows are as brutally honest. Although it could feel like a Tennessee Williams play at times, BoJack also managed to tackle a wide range of different comedy styles, effortlessly transitioning between tragic comedy and lighthearted puns. Damn it, Todd! This was life or death! Same with me! The bell said at 50 bucks, I'll be here when- Number 3. Rick and Morty If you took the inventiveness of Doctor Who, the characters of Back to the Future, and the meta humor of Community, you'd get Rick and Morty. I had to make a bomb, Morty. I had to create a bomb. What? A bomb? We're gonna drop it down there. Oh, get a oh, whole fresh start, oh. Morty. Create a whole fresh start. That, 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 that's absolutely crazy. Come on, Morty. Just take it easy. Morty's gonna be good. Although the series is still young, Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland have created a universe where the possibilities are limitless, both in terms of sci-fi and comedy. I mean, I'd watch it, Morty, for at least 11 minutes a pop. The belching Rick and neurotic Morty's adventures can take them anywhere, from foreign planets to inside dreams to the multiverse's countless different realities. Wherever they go, we can't wait to go along for another ride. What happened? Oldest Rick trick in the book. Fake gun, shoot me, and stand up. Brilliant! Uh, yeah, G good thing I saw that note. Number two, Adventure Time. After several seasons on the air, most shows eventually settle into a predictable groove. With Adventure Time, however, people never know what to expect whenever they tune in. You know what time it is, buddy? Adventure Time! Yeah, man! <laughs> Will we get a surreal episode, a laugh out loud funny episode, an emotional episode, an epic episode, or an episode that changes everything we know about the characters we've come to adore? No, this is wrong. They're not coming back to life. They're still dead. My decorps need her serum. It's incomplete. Whatever Adventure Time aspires to do, it almost always hits a bullseye with its one of a kind animation style, ingenious plotting, and endless creativity, transcending all the standard storytelling conventions we're used to seeing. <laughs> What a treat! Okay, well, I'll see you crimpy glimmers on triode flumpin' the diode. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick for the best cartoon of the century so far, here are a few honorable mentions. Would you make me the happiest guy on earth and accompany me to the mirror so I can give you a makeover so some other guy will go to prom with you? Oh, Abe, of course I'd love to uh, make what now? Here, Miss Langtree, play something like this. Oh, like this? Mmm, good enough. Hope they don't mind if I borrow. I, I say mine. Come on, Dr. D. Is the screaming part of your plan? So, I hear your name is Gyro Robo. Correct. That is very not lame. <laughs> I won't even dignify this scene with my analysis. There's two, one, violence, on, TV, anyway! And you chose to demonstrate that by smashing the TV in front of me. It was the responsible thing to do. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Avatar The Last Airbender Coming out at a time when most animated shows either went past their expiration date or ended abruptly with no closure, Avatar was something of an anomaly. I guess I was wondering, you're being an airbender and all? If you had any idea what happened to the Avatar? Uh, no. The series started incredibly strong and somehow ended even more strongly, delivering everything the creator set out to accomplish over the course of three epic seasons. These are the masters. Still think we can take them? Shh. I never said that. It's hard to think of another show, animated or live action, that so flawlessly balanced action, comedy, romance, drama, and serialized storytelling, always knowing exactly how much to give its viewers. The show's style, themes, and world building would inspire a sequel series with The Legend of Korra, as well as a spiritual successor of sorts with The Dragon Prince. Yet Avatar remains the gold standard for what's been a golden age of animated programming. I thought firebending was destruction. Since I hurt Katara, I've been too afraid and hesitant. But now I know what it really is. It's energy and life. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.